everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Anna Mae and today I'm going to be making a video comparing the L.L. Bean duck boot to the Sperry saltwater duck boot. Um, I've had both of these boots. I had Sperry ones first and then I got L.L. Bean ones. So I'm just going to kind of compare and contrast the two. If you are thinking of purchasing one of these boots, this is probably a really good video to watch. Um, so yeah, I had kind of looked for information like this when I was thinking of purchasing the first pair didn't really find that much um, and when I did I thought they were on a par but um, yeah I wish something like this was out there so now I'm sharing because I have the experience myself just gonna put out there I know I'm gonna be so mad at myself for having my hair in a ponytail like this when I'm editing because it just looks so strange I have such a round head anyways um, let me try and loosen it up a little bit. I honestly don't know if this made it better or worse. Anyways, enough with the hair. Just gonna get right into this video. Starting off, these are the two boots I am discussing. These are by LL Bean and these are by Sperry. So the darker colored ones are the Sperry ones and the lighter classic looking ones are by LL Bean. So I got these boots, I'm pretty sure about two years ago. And then these boots I got about a month ago, three weeks ago, um, and you may not think that is enough time to give an honest review of these boots, and I will definitely take that into account, but there are still a lot of points I can make on both of the boots just having them in person here. So starting off with the Sperry boots, I believe these are called the Saltwater Duck Boot, um, and Sperry used to have a European base, it was actually IE, so it was like their Irish website. Um, so that was making, you know, kind of made things a lot easier for me, um, given that I am Irish and LL Bean do ship um, internationally, but the stuff is like, you get import duty um, in Ireland, that's why it's not necessarily if it, something ships internationally, it's that bringing it into the country, you have to pay huge amounts of tax. By getting Sperry ones, I could avoid this. As well as that, um, I felt like, at the time, I was getting more value for money because I didn't have to pay the huge amount of shipping. I'm pretty sure these are 120 euro and um, that is around the same as an LL Bean duck boot. But I was just like, you know, these will do fine. They're totally grand. So, I was very happy with these boots for years. Compared to the duck boot, these do not need any breaking in. You put your foot into them and they are cozy, they are like a slipper. They are kind of like fleece lined all throughout and that's standard with this boot. Um, they are super, super warm. They have a little zip in the inside so you don't really use the front laces. And that is probably something I'll mention with the duck boot that's kind of different. Um, these are a women's eight and like US eight, but my duck boots are a women's seven and typically in US sizes, I'm a seven and a half, I believe, um, which is a UK five or a 38 um, European size. So yeah, anyways, getting into it. This boot was great for a while. And then, so this is kind of gross. So I was um, wearing these quite a bit and I was like, I'd wear, if I'd have them on for like the day for college, I would get home and I'd be like, my feet are really gross. Like they must've been like really sweaty or something. Like why is it so wet inside the shoe? And I was like, that's really gross. It's probably cause it's rubber and it doesn't breathe. Wrong. These boots split. It rains in Ireland constantly, especially where I'm from. Um, so these boots split all, you can't really see it here, all along here is split. Um, it's also in the inside here. If I can find the really bad spots, I will show it to you. But um, this one is pretty bad as well. You can kind of see the cracks there. No, it won't focus on it. So I don't know if you can see it there. If I maybe pull it like that or like this, you can see some of the, yeah, like see there, the little lines. And that was actually the sole cracking. So it was not gross and sweaty because I, I'm not a sweaty person. This is such a gross thing to say. But anyways, yeah, it was that the boot, the sole had split and um, I kind of tested it out then by, you know, putting like a damp cloth on the outside and feeling the inside of the boot and lo and behold, they were leaking. So you can see there's like a little uh, dent here that would have let in water as well. So that was really disappointing. Oh, here's the big one. 
That's what I was looking for. If you can see there, that is a big old split. So that was super, super annoying. These boots are so comfortable, but they're also like, they're, I know they're like cute in their own way, but they're also kind of ugly. So if they're not working for their purpose, which is for me, for very wet, rainy weather, and um, that's, we don't get snow in Ireland. It's just for like a lot of rain when the streets start to flood a little bit and stuff like that. I don't want to wear my leather boots. So I thought these were great at first, but overall I'm pretty disappointed. I do love the height of these. I'd say these are probably like a six inch, like comparable to the six inch LL Beans. Um, but yeah, like these are super comfortable. The lip is super comfortable. I can't say enough about the comfort, but for the price, I don't know if these are worth it. Um, as you can also see, the sole is completely worn out. I have slipped in these boots since, um, and that's pretty frustrating. They do not have the same grooving. Like, it's very, very different. And I know these are new, but like, you could, you can tell that it was never as good on the Sperry boots. So, that's for the Sperry ones. Now moving on to the Bean boots and what I think of these. These, like putting it in your hand, are heavier. The rubber is like much thicker and the sole, it's like really bouncy and it like, it's harder to go like that. Whereas in the duck boot, it is super easy to go like that. Um, and you're probably, and like I can even fold it down that way. And you're like, I mean, like, why would you do that to a shoe? Um, I'm a dancer, I have very strong feet. So um, it's very easy for me to like, I break in the soles of my shoes accidentally a lot from just walking. So like all my shoes can go like that. So these really didn't stand that test um, of me just like living my life in the shoes. Um, the sole is much thicker. Like in those um, Sperry shoes, I'd be able to now feel like pebbles underfoot because the, sin the sole has thinned out so much, but I know that's like not going to happen with these because even the heel is so much thicker. Um, yeah, the rubber itself is far more durable. The leather is nowhere near as soft. Uh, these are the Thinsulate ones, I believe. Um, I wasn't there when they were purchased. I got them for Christmas. You know, when your parents, like anything that's purchased like be between October or like literally like August and Christmas is an early Christmas present but these were something I actually wanted for Christmas and then we kind of decided that it was kind of pointless for me not to wear them just for the sake of them being a Christmas present and um, so I got these I love them Um things that are great about these this has a loop so you can pull them on I like the color a lot and um, the laces I had always intended on changing the laces and those Sperry ones so I could actually just lace them up um, because constantly they were undoing, they were loose, a bit sloppy. Do you know when you're walking and they kind of slop around a bit too much? Whereas with this, they have really thick laces and I, I like the laces are almost a bit wiry, um, but they are really good. I don't have them laced up the whole way. And these are the eight inch ones. And I'm pretty sure this was all they had. Um, they had like quite a limited selection. My parents were at an outlet, so um, they just got what they could in a women's oven. And one thing I had heard um, Kelly Prepster here on YouTube and on Instagram, she had said that she has the six inch ones because she's on the shorter side. I think she's like 5'3", and um, she thinks that the eight inch are too tall. I think I am also, I'm like just about 5'3". These are also too tall. Um, like. I'm going to keep them forever. Like it, it's not, I'm not ever going to replace them with anything else, but I would suggest also getting shorter pair if you can. Um, you know, I was just getting what I could get, but I do find that they dig into my ankle here a little bit. I do have very flexible ankles and feet. I know it's kind of weird to say. Uh, yeah, I have very flexible ankles and feet. As I said, I was a dancer. So um, like ankles and feet are like the only thing I was gifted with. And that can, it's kind of bruising me a little bit, but I think that's when the leather gets a bit more worn in, which I'm hoping to do like over this whole Christmas season, that will really help. One downside of these, other than the height, is that they are a little bit wide. And these are just the B width, so they're like the medium one. And I hadn't heard of anyone talking about getting a narrow or a wide fit. Um, so, you know, 
again just got what I could get and yeah they are a little bit wide um, I do have quite a narrow fitting foot, I have that is one thing. I do have to wear like a pair of regular like little ankle socks and then thick socks for these to fit comfortably. Um, and that's not like the whole toe, that's just like the width of it and like the heel and stuff uh, to make that fit a bit more. But these also add height more so than the duck boots, the Sperry ones do. Um, which is something I enjoy. Um, so yeah, I think that is it for all of my, what I have to say on either of these shoes. Um, overall, I vote duck boot. If you can get, when I mean duck, they're both duck boots, what am I saying? I vote LL Bean. If you can get your hands on LL Bean, do. Um, they come in similar colours, but I honestly don't think that the Sperry ones are worth the price, given that, at least for me, um, I'm quite sure my parents paid $120 for the Thinsulate real 8 inch duck boots um, from LL Bean and then it was 120 or 129 euro not including shipping that I paid for the Sparrier ones originally and it's not like I just don't like them like they're not my taste anymore it's literally that they are not usable for their purpose they broke they do not serve the function that I bought them for um, and for someone who definitely is very intentional in what I buy um, it's pretty annoying having to discard clothing there's no way or you know you could try and repair it but realistically you're not gonna have you're not gonna have shoes that don't serve their purpose and you're constantly trying to fix them I wouldn't feel right giving them to someone if I had repaired them to make waterproof shoes not you know like try and keep them waterproof they might leak water though it's just very annoying having to eventually I haven't thrown them out yet clearly because I just feel so bad about it so if you're someone like me who doesn't like to discard clothing um I would definitely avoid the Sperry duck boots. Now, that could be me. I might have walked a lot in them. I might have, you know, done, I don't know what I could have done in them, honestly. You know, risen up on my demi point, like up on my toes. I'm talking a lot about dance today, but it's feet. Um, Like up on the ball of my foot, like up my tippy toes. Like, I just think that shoes should be able to withstand a certain amount of wear, especially shoes for, you know, the plus 100 euro price tag um, and because of that yeah I would definitely vote LL Bean duck boots over Sperry even though I do love Sperry shoes I think that sometimes the quality is subpar Um, they can work off their name a bit more especially in recent years they're so popular so um, yeah that is my overall review and comparison of these two boots I know I look a bit of a hot mess right now but um it's really cold outside so i have this on and it is too close to the color of my hair it makes my hair look super yellow so it's got to be up in a ponytail um anyways if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this um i make a lot of style videos um travel videos just general lifestyle things and yeah if you want to follow me on instagram it's at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video. Bye.